guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Thion and you're watching Reptiliatus. So the last video I made about Sabzi, which you can watch up above by following the link, you guys commented a lot that you wanted to see a future video that sort of explains how I go about training this little green guy. Today I decided I'm gonna make a video about how I train this little dragon. Hey, <laughs> see what I did there? I know, my jokes are lame. I've literally had people tell me I make dad jokes. I'm not even a dad. So, yikes a to when that ever happens. So yeah, anyways. Oh, I'm such a cheese ball. It's not even funny. But yeah, no, I think that that's a very good topic to discuss and share with you guys. So today I decided to show you a few of the small things that I've been working on with Sabzi. A lot of it is food-based motivation to interact with me, same as you've seen with the Toke geckos, another link up above if you want to see that last video where I explain how I train them. A lot of training videos, I should become a professional reptile trainer or something. No. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys a few of the methods that I'm using, things I've seen other people do. That's sort of been my slow and gradual, persistent way of conditioning Sabzi to interact with me. And it's so exciting to see that we've gotten to this point where I walk in the room and he runs down his central cork log and is waiting for me to interact with him or feed him. I can't explain, like it's, it's, it's such a big difference. I mean, rewind to week one and he was like a squirrel on the opposite side of a tree trunk. I'd walk in the room, I wouldn't even get that far. I'd step into the room, he could already hear me and was bolting into a cork round. And over time, I can't emphasize this enough, patience is key in this. You need to be confident in your actions, but you need to be patient and allow yourself to give the time needed. You are literally building a relationship or friendship with an animal that needs to understand and grow trust in you. It's not to be cheesy, it's not to be fake, that's literally what you're doing. You need to give it your all, you need to be calm and patient with the animal, you need to understand that you're much larger than them, you need to move slowly, but that food is gonna be the link between you and that lizard. So for anyone looking to train a monitor lizard, this is really important. Food helps. I mean, otherwise it's it's patiently trying to go in there. You know, the animals don't necessarily like to be touched. I don't go in there and just start trying to pet him. That's scary. That's something like a bird of prey would do. I let him come to me and he decides how the interactions work. You know, I put my hand out. I let him investigate. Is he licking the air? picking up on scents, checking out my fingers, looking all over the place. He does that now, whereas before he was very weary and cautious around me. So, without further ado, let's get into it. I'm gonna show you guys one to three, maybe four ways that I've been trying to stimulate the animal, and I think you'll enjoy this little video. Let me know in the comment section what you thought. Give Sabzi a thumbs up, because honestly, he's such a cool lizard, and I'm thrilled you guys appreciate him nearly as much as I do, because you never will as much as me. And, oh, before I forget, comment of the day. You know how this goes? Today, I want to ask you guys, out of the methods you saw me do, which do you find the most interesting? Which do you think is maybe the most helpful or curious, and why? Comment down below, and as always, I will give your comment a heart and engage in a bit of a conversation with you. All right, guys, enough of me blabbing. Let's get right into the video. Okay, guys, so here's Sabzi. He's already getting pretty excited and curious about being fed. I can tell here. Just looking at him, he's like, feed me, Diane, feed me. Uh, if you hadn't noticed the new upgrades, this enclosure is looking fantastic. You can see that a lot of the mandevilla is growing in but yeah this guy is loving his new space he knows i'm gonna feed him so the first thing i like to do with sabzi one of them is obviously i'll just hold a cricket and offer it to him but what i also enjoy doing is actually cupping the cricket in my hand and leaving a small opening for him to fit his head through or even better his hand and he goes in to get it so I'm gonna show you guys this method now. He's usually pretty receptive. He'll come when he sees my hand there. And uh, yeah, we'll test it out and see if he's gonna go for it. All right guys, so here's Sabzi. We're gonna see if he'll come down and check out my hand. Get a cricket. 
So in a minute, you're gonna see that Sabzi misses the cricket and grabs my finger by accident. He realizes that he had me and lets go, but it's important to remember a few things. This isn't a method of training I would recommend for any other species of monitor, really. Especially species that are much larger and can do some serious damage. I personally reserve this type of interaction for tree monitors, and I'll be a great deal more cautious using this method as Sabzi grows, as well as use larger prey items. That's me, dingle dork. So yeah, he kind of missed. Not bad for a bite. Little teeth. It's not something we're gonna wanna have happen when he's bigger though, that's for sure. See what I mean? Now, another method I really enjoy with Sabzi is getting him to jump for a cricket. Like that. She's pretty comfortable doing. Another thing I like to do is make him stand for food. So I'll have my hand here, he'll come to explore, as you can see, and then once he notices the food, I just make him stand up like that. And that's just, you know, good stimulation, gets him to exercise a little bit. That's important, right? It's sort of a dynamic feeding response. So this is sort of something fun. What I've done here is I just have a small glass vial or jar and I've bent some wire around it. And what we're gonna do is put a cricket in this cup and Sabzi at this size, usually his head can't fit into it. So hopefully this will stimulate him to uh, use his hands to remove the prey item. And that just sort of stimulates that tactile function that these animals have. Let's go ahead and offer him this toy. Sabzi. Look, it's in here. Look, Sabzi. He'll see it. There you go. Now I'm planning to get more narrow bottles because he's getting to that size now that I'm actually concerned that his head will get stuck. Um, I haven't actually used this in quite a few weeks so that was a little scary to see his head barely fit through that. Yeah, but I mean, you, you see the application for if it's the appropriate size, they love it. It's, it's definitely a stimulating option for them. Hey buddy. And then, so yeah, we get to this point where we're stimulating the animal. They'll just walk on you. So he starts to associate me with food. Remember, I'm never grabbing Sabzi. It's always his choice whether he wants to come onto me or not. And then I'll do like a hand treadmill sort of thing and let him explore that way. Hey, you're, you're dirty, you got some stuff on your stomach. I don't know if he got his poop on him or something. Yeah, silly goose. Wanna come back up? So you see, it's always him, he's in control. If I grab him, he'll get startled, and that may, that may put us back. I don't want him to associate me with something scary, obviously. I want him to associate with me with food, and being someone that gives him what he wants. So yeah, 
we're working on that and it's definitely definitely progressing yeah, I love how smart these animals are you know he hears the bag jiggling and he just knows that food is on the way Sabzi up here up here now my next thing I want to do is sort of target train him that's something I'd really like to do so I might get a little you know stick with a red bead on it and and get him to follow that around to get food but at the same time I'm very happy with how things are going regardless I don't think I need that but it is it is very neat and it might come in handy when he gets larger also so that you know little things like that don't happen obviously that's such a small minimal cut you can see the bite marks on each side and he tugged that a bit before he realized <laughs> that it was just me but yeah It'll, it, he's really doing great. I couldn't be happier with this boy. Now, one thing I want to say for those of you that are new to the uh, Prasinus family of Varanids, um, don't be discouraged if you were lucky enough to purchase uh, a baby and it's very skittish and frightened. For me, I had no experience personally owning varanids before sabzi and so when i saw people's videos on how tame these animals can be as far as classically conditioning them i was very intimidated by the fact that sabzi was so scared of me so i will tell you right away that they come around you put in the work be patient let them do things at their pace they come around and I just kind of did this from day one and he's just a whole other animal. I also want to say that their comfortable attitude or, or sort of when they become a bit braver, that sort of comes with age. It's as if they know that when they're a bit less young, they're, I don't know, hardier or they feel a bit safer. So they do become less skittish naturally, I would say, with age. And that was a big factor I wish someone would have told me. I mean, not everyone cares about being able to kind of work with their prasinus easier as far as like the classical conditioning goes. That's not important to everyone. Some people are happy to just have a display animal and that's totally fine. Um, but it makes a difference to have an animal that's at least tolerant of you. Doesn't need to be interactive, but tolerant is great. There you go. And he's gentle, right? He knows. He doesn't just run in there, guns blazing, and try and grab me and the cricket or whatever. He he knows how to pick that prey on its own. Now this one is my uh, reach for the stars trick that I do with him. So what we're going to do is make him reach as far as we can to get to the cricket. Up you go. Come on, up you go. Of course, he's gonna try and be cheeky and use something else for it, but up, up, up. Reach, reach, reach. I wanna see you reach for it. Yeah, 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 it's right there. Good boy. Obviously, you gotta let them have it eventually, but that was a good way to do it. Good boy, Sabzi. So yeah, I hope that kind of shows you a little bit of what I do with Sabzi. It's sort of like dogs, you know, you'll put aside some of their food and use it for training, not just give it to them all at once in the enclosure obviously i do let him hunt but i want to be the one giving him a lot of his food so that we can build that kind of trust if you will and that's really important well guys there you have it i hope you enjoyed today's video sabzi is such a cool animal and it's such a thrilling and exciting opportunity to have him here to love him and cherish him what a cool personable reptile and it's only going to get more interesting as he grows larger, as I plan what I'm doing for his permanent large enclosure. Lots of interesting ideas. 
thinking of some cool things. But yeah, he's a very, very special animal to me that I hold dear to my heart and I'm so grateful to have him here. And I'm really excited about sharing more content pertaining to this animal with you all. So keep those suggestions coming. That's what the comment section is for. I read every single one of your comments and you know, I really appreciate it. And the ideas are great. The suggestions are great. So guys, without further ado, I want to thank you all so much for watching. Check out my other social media pages. We have Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon. If you want to follow me on Patreon for as little as $2 a month, you can unlock different types of exclusives, videos, update posts, merch and more the support means a lot to me if you can follow the link down below in the description my name is Dion thank you again for watching and as always I look forward to seeing you guys in another video again soon and if you want to see more content about Sabzi the green tree monitor check out the playlist up above see you guys